Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to diagnose the CAN bus uh, using oscilloscope to read the waveform and see how waveform is gonna change in case of having any fault on CAN bus high and CAN bus low. Here is my uh, oscilloscope. I'm using launch oscilloscope today and it's connected to my launch scan tool X431. I'm using this one as a display and this is my uh, oscilloscope so i have four channels here i'm using channel one and channel two so i have already connected the cables uh, this is channel one and this is channel two and from the other side as you see uh, i have connected my oscilloscope to my uh, scan tool just uh, ready to read the waveform and see how we can do it as i explained in the other video you can easily access the can bus high and can bus low using the obd2 connector so just right here, these two pins are actually CAN high and CAN low. Pins number 6 and 14, they are actually for the CAN bus high and CAN bus low. All right, I'm gonna connect the channel one for now. Uh, I have two ends. This one goes for the pin itself. So I can go for CAN high from here. So this is CAN bus high. And obviously we can find it out by looking at the waveform as well. And this one goes for a good ground. Just right here, I'm gonna give it a good ground. And see the waveform. So this is the waveform that we are getting from the CAN bus. I can make some adjustments. For example, right here, if you wanna make the waveform taller or shorter, you can just do it from here. This one is gonna give a shorter waveform or taller waveform. Obviously, if it is taller, you can read the waveform much easier it's really important to see the voltage level from there so right now i'm getting the waveform uh, this is for the can high as, as you see the start from something around two and a half it goes up to three and a half but waveform shows us exactly what is the voltage level because two and a half and three and a half it is something really theory but we will see how it works like that i'm gonna uh, pause the waveform and we will see what is the voltage level on the can high and can low all right, let's connect the channel two on the can do, and we will have a comparison between can high and can do. All right, channel two. Uh, this one with the yellow head is for channel two. I have inserted the channel two as well, and another ground for channel two. So right now what we are seeing, the yellow waveform is actually for the can high, and the blue one is for the can low as you see they are opposite right here I have run if i stop it it actually it will pause the waveform so I, I can have a better view from the waveform to see if it is uh, okay or not so as you see this one the yellow one is the can high the other one is the can low and if i if i look the voltage level right here right here you have two voltage level okay the yellow one is for the yellow waveform and the blue one is for the blue waveform so for the can high as you see can high start from something uh, around uh, 2.4 and it goes uh, up to 3.4 which is okay because on the paper we have two and a half to three and a half and can low on the can low we have drop in the voltage it starts from something around two and a half and it drops to one and a half so it shows the can low is okay as well. So basically this is a normal waveform on a can high and can low if uh, they are working properly. When normally you inspect the can bus with the multimeter, a multimeter is quite good for inspecting the can bus, but it's not that much accurate because obviously you cannot see the waveform and when you check the voltage it's gonna give you an average basically if something happens to the can bus the only thing that you can see in the uh, multimeter is if the voltage is too high or too low because uh, it doesn't show you exactly what is the minimum voltage and what is the uh, maximum voltage but right now you see the minimum and maximum voltage and if something else happens uh, like uh, the fault that I'm gonna make on the car right now you see how waveform is gonna change and how it will affect the CAN bus operation. Uh, I have already made uh, a short ground on CAN bus low and I'm gonna run the waveform to see how our, our waveform is gonna change from the normal uh, to uh, the current situation. All right, so this is how we get the waveform if there is any problem on the CAN bus low. As you see, the green one, 
is actually something around zero and it's already affected the canvas high as well i just made a short ground on canvas low but it's actually reflecting the problem on canvas high as well and if you check the car with the scan tool those units which are connected to the uh, canvas uh, you will not get any communication between your scan tool and those units let's uh, stop this one all right so this is the waveform when we have short to ground on can bus low so i'm gonna change the short to ground to can bus high and we will see how it will change i change the short to ground i put it on the can bus high and let's run the waveform and see how our waveform is going to change right now i have shorted the can bus high to the ground uh, as you see the can bus voltage uh, the yellow one is already dropped to something close to zero and this one is reflecting the problem on the canvas low as well and both of them are not working uh, anymore so this is what we you can get from the oscilloscope in uh, canvas high and low uh, any of them is shorter to the ground